Lesson 12.2a, Identifying Independent and Dependent Quantities from a Table. Many real-world situations involve two variable quantities. One quantity may depend on the other. The quantity that depends on the other is called the dependent variable, and the quantity it depends on is called the independent variable. Sam bought some shirts that cost $20 each. How much did he spend? Well, if someone asked you that, you'd say, well, how many shirts did he buy? Because it would depend on how many shirts he bought. So the amount he spent depends on the number of shirts he bought. If he bought one shirt, then he spent $20. If he bought two shirts, he spent $40. And if he bought three shirts, he spent $60. The amount he spends depends on how many he purchased. The amount he spent is a dependent variable and the number of shirts he bought was the independent variable. Independent means does not need help. You can do it alone. Dependent means does need help. We can make a table of the independent number of shirts and the dependent amount he spent. The number of shirts will be our x value and the amount of money spent will be the y value because it's going to depend on the number of shirts. This is the dependent. This is the independent. If he buys zero shirts, he's going to spend zero dollars. If he buys one shirt, he's going to spend twenty dollars. If he buys two shirts, he's going to spend forty. And if he buys three, he's going to be sixty dollars. We don't know how much he spent until we know how many shirts he bought. We don't know y until we know x. That is why the y variable is dependent on the x variable. y, the amount spent, is equal to the cost per shirt, that would be our rate, $20 a piece, multiplied by the number of shirts. y is equal to 20x is an equation in two variables in which the value of y is dependent on the value of x. And this equation represents the relationship between the amount of money spent and the number of shirts purchased. The value of y is always 20 times the value of x. And this relationship is based on multiplication. So it's a multiplicative relationship. We know that when this is the coefficient, isn't it? It's next to the variable. We know when they're directly next to each other, it means multiplication. So it's a multiplicative relationship. We can use this equation in two variables to determine any amount spent. If we use y is equal to 20x, we can figure out any amount of money he spent for a number of shirts. So x would be the number of shirts and y would be the amount spent. If he buys 10 shirts, well, 10 times 20 is 200, the amount spent is $200. And if he buys 15 shirts, then 15 times 20 is 300, he spent $300. A car is moving at a constant speed on a highway. The distance y in kilometers that the car has traveled after x hours is shown in the table. So x is going to be our time in hours and y is going to be our distance in kilometers. If we drive for zero hours, we're going to go a zero distance. If we drive one hour, we're going 60. Two hours, 120. Three hours, 180. And so on. Y depends on X. And we don't know this distance until we know the time. We don't know Y until we know X. That makes Y the dependent variable and X the independent variable. We have this equation, y, that's the total distance traveled, is equal to 60, that's our rate. The rate is the distance traveled in one hour, and it's multiplied by x, the time in hours driving. y is equal to 60x is an equation in two variables in which the value of y is dependent on the value of x. And this equation represents the relationship between the distance traveled in kilometers and the time in hours. The value of y is always 60 times the value of x. This relationship is based on multiplication, so it's a multiplicative relationship. 
Okay, we finished the first part of this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, identifying independent and dependent quantities from a graph. We're going to look at a coordinate plane and what these independent and dependent quantities look like on a coordinate plane. I hope you have a really nice day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.